So what we're doing here now is a really exciting new project at Skelton Manor, is we're setting up a tree nursery, and the idea is, well, this tree planting scheme now that the government have announced across the whole country, is, is going is, it needs millions and millions of trees, but it's very important to try and get them from local provenance, so seed from the area that the, the new plants are going to be grown in. And so we're really keen to be part of that. So we're identifying really good mother trees around Pembrokeshire for all the native species and collecting seed and getting donations of seed and we'll purchase seed from special seed collectors if we need to. Uh, but the first one we've done here is oaks, of course, the, the, the iconic tree. And we've got some lovely ones here. We've got, we're getting on for a thousand plants that we, 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 we've just grown this year. We, I think it was October we sowed them. No, it was perhaps earlier than that. Anyway, in the autumn, uh, we, we, we sowed all these as a, as, a, as a big group, a community group came together. A lot of the seed had been collected by the different members of that group. So we've got four different ancient woodlands or, or important woodlands of Pembrokeshire that we've separated the seed from. So we've got Cum Pedron, T Canol, Freni Vower and Blind Nevin in separate batches so that we can put these trees back into those woodlands and, and the surrounding areas. So that's really exciting and you can see the different uh, germination of the different seeds. So we, we're getting about 50% from, from this particular batch but the best batch over here, Cum Pedron's done 88%. So it helps us to work out how much seed we need for how many plants in the future. The more you do something, the more you realise it's not as, simple, not as simple as you think it is. So it turns out we've got the sessile oak and the English oak, so that, which is very similar oaks, but the sessile oak is the one that generally is, is around Wales. It, it puts up with higher rainfall, higher wind, rockier soils, and the English oak is, is usually found further, further east. But both do grow here. Uh, but uh, what, one has acorns that are on a nice stem, long stem, and the other one has acorns that stick to the main stem. So you can tell them apart when they're seeding. Uh, but it's usually the jay that does a lot of the planting of acorns. You see them fall down to the ground, but they often don't grow right under the mother tree. The, uh, one jay apparently can collect 7,500 acorns within a four week period in the autumn. And it flies off and buries them all around the landscape. And then they forget to go back to a lot of them. And of course they, they grow. But also the, the ones that they do find, they go back not as a winter source of food. It turns out the jay plants the acorn for its babies. So it leaves the acorn there until April when the oak's already started to grow and it's got leaves and it's growing away and it's put its root down and the seed coat drops away, but it's still just within the soil area. And the, 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 uh, the, the jay, sorry, the jay goes back to those sites and takes the old seed for its nest. And, and hundreds and hundreds of these are used for feeding its babies. But the oak trees are able to survive that. So it, it's already started to grow and it doesn't need the seeds and seed, the seed coat anymore and the seed casing. So it, 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 nature's just amazing how, how that can work. So we're trying to mimic that in, in some way and we're realizing that the, the, the acorn doesn't last very long. So if you keep an acorn for three or four weeks, it dries out, it desiccates, and you sow it and you wait and nothing happens. So you've really got to be on top of collecting and sowing a very, very quick... Uh, period of time but uh, very exciting to be able to do to do this project 